What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. I am doing these new spreads um, called the hidden truth for all the signs and I just tried to do Aries and it froze so I've got the cards laid out and um, there's four different spots for this. Also, if you'd like a personal reading, check out the About section. Make your payment via PayPal, and I'll record your reading and send it back. So the Hidden Truth has four parts, Aries. The first part is um, the Hidden Truth. The second part is how it affects you or your life. Um, the third part is how it, why it has remained hidden and the insight and guidance on this issue for you. The bottom of the, this deck is the Page of Wands, the Strength. And this deck is the Page of pentacles with the king of swords i feel like it has something to do with a decision about something that you wanted to do um it's about having the confidence to take control of this and um kind of take back control of your life and go in the direction that you want to go it's something you waited for um, there's a new opportunity here with love i feel like if you need to know if this person feels the same they do they just want you to to tell the truth about how you feel and like not be so like stuck in your ways and wanting to control everything possibly <laughs> the hidden truth is the knight of pentacles so the truth is whatever this is is coming in slow as molasses and it's like you've been ready for this like you got your little shield up you got your little it looks like a big ass squirrel <laughs> like you're ready but it's just taking a long time and it has something to do with the confidence. What are you telling yourself? What is your mental thoughts? Um, maybe your season is coming up. Maybe um, you needed to have more confidence in yourself. Maybe someone's waiting for you to take control of this and come towards them. And the thing about the Knight of Pentacles is they might be slow, but they're solid. So they're showing up correctly. You know, maybe that's what someone wants from you. Maybe that's what you need to know. Um, because when I clarified it, I got... Six of Cups with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. There was someone from your past where there was a potential for this to get off the ground, whether it was a situation or a person. And um, you, something happened where there was a lot of blocks in the way of this happening. So maybe you're confused about if this is still going to happen for you, if you're still going to go and be with your soulmates. Um, I think so, but are you going to take control and go talk to them and make a move or are you gonna not you know what I mean um how it affects you you have the knight of swords this affects the direction that you're taking your life in maybe um some hasty decisions were made in anger maybe some mental the way you talk to yourself the way you talk to another person some fighting about trying to get this to work, but there has been a lot of things that you thought about. And um, I think that what you needed to realize is like the key to everything was kind of in your own hands. You held the key to what you wanted from another person. And I feel like this is airy season. This is kind of like you're being guided in the right direction, but you're kind of fighting it. Maybe you made the wrong decision in the past. Maybe you didn't have enough confidence to go back in. You just kind of had all this hidden anxiety and you didn't understand why things were happening, but you kind of kept all this to yourself. You know what I mean? Um, didn't really open up, didn't tell anybody how you felt. Um, kind of came across like this person didn't make you happy and you didn't care if they left. But I think that this person just wanted to see you make an effort to kind of balance this out and not be so cold hearted towards them because, um, Things were slowly falling apart, but you kind of knew that you needed to do the right thing or this person did. I just feel like someone is very well aware of everything and there was some kind of break that was needed or taken. And I feel like you want to talk about, you know, being on a new path and maybe just being confused about how you feel or have this conversation. But some of you guys are just kind of like blocking out everybody and going towards what feels good in the moment or what looks good and not realizing how it's affecting the direction your life is going in. 
um, maybe there's someone from your past that you communicated with um, that really hasn't made up their mind about you or vice versa. And there is a new beginning here, but they have no idea how you feel about them. You kind of keep everything to yourself about how happy they make you, how you want to marry them, how you want to have kids, how you drive by their house or you want to go to their house. Um, you're afraid that they're going to leave you again and that they're not going to leave a situation or a house or something along the lines where someone kind of got their heart broken last time and you see this person as your wish come true but it's just taking forever to get to where you want to be to go and get this I mean I think what you should know is that you're being guided you're on the right path um things will be revealed to you as they're meant to be revealed to you um why this has remained hidden is because the Ten of Wands. Because new things, Mr. Stubborn Aries, cannot come into your life until you put down the weight of everything that you're carrying. Until you have a conversation about what you truly want, about stop being so fucking stubborn and thinking you have to put on this facade that everything's fine and you know, maybe that someone else does understand you. Maybe that someone else feels the same way about you, but you have yet to kind of even talk to this person, let alone go in their direction. You know, you think about it. I think that you guys both are mirroring each other about wanting to have this conversation about bringing this together, but someone is kind of like, are they lying? Are they being manipulative? Do they have other people? What do they want? Do they just want sex? You know, um, someone's really mentally fucked up because of this. Someone is really stressed out. Her dress is on fire and it's just going to keep lighting up. And it's just like, until you learn to stop doing this, especially if you want some, like a partnership with somebody, if you want a relationship with somebody, um, you don't have to do everything alone or not talk about things or um, kind of lie because you're scared and you are afraid to um, admit that maybe there are some things that you have yet to learn about yourself or things in your life that you've made decisions about and it's brought on different opportunities. And it's just like some of you guys are so scared to talk about your feelings. You're just waiting and desiring but fighting with everyone and still looking at the past like I don't know this is confusing <laughs> um you want this romance it's here but it's not something you have to carry on your own it's not something that <sighs> honestly this person that you're dealing with just wants you to open up and tell the truth about your fears about what scares you what hurts you um, why you left, why you didn't spend time with them, why you have all this anxiety and fear and you keep it to yourself and why you're just kind of like taking forever to tell them how you feel about them and just making it seem like you're good on your own and you don't need anybody and you're going to do what you want to do and no one else can make you happy and whatever the fuck else kind of bullshit us. Maybe if you figure out on your own what makes you happy, maybe that's what you're afraid to talk about. It's like, you don't really know. You have an idea, but it hasn't really been something that you thought about. You know, I feel like some of you guys spend a lot of time making other people happy. And now when you take this year by the, by the horns, you're kind of figuring out what you like to do. You know, maybe some of you guys want to spend some time on your own. Maybe you guys want to go in a new direction. Maybe you guys want somebody who um, has no idea that you want to have a relationship with them because they feel like you are worried about money and yourself and sex. Even though you have feelings, you love them. They love you. But maybe there's some things you need to heal. Maybe there was a break that was needed. Maybe someone is sick. Someone isn't feeling very well and realizing that everything that you want in another person has to be inside of you or them in order for it to work. You can't really force things to work. Um, you can't really wait for happiness. You sometimes have to go and get it and 
for you, that's moving with passion, whatever you like to do. And it's kind of changing your life, but you're still kind of reflecting on something from your past. This friend of yours that you want to talk to, but they're so left in the dark by you. They don't know what you want or what you're doing. Or that maybe you haven't really made a decision about them either. It's time to do the right thing, maybe. It's time to bring balance, make the decision about how you feel and move forward in that energy, whatever that is for you. Because you do have a twin here that cares a lot about you. That might be creeping your social media or still deep down thinks that this could be a good ending, but they feel like you left them and they needed you. And now you're pushing them away and have your own ideas. And what you don't realize is with this person... <laughs> You could have um, abundance and everything that you want, but you just kind of want to figure it out on your own, and maybe that's okay. I don't know. <laughs> There's better things coming, I guess, is what should be said here. Um, the insight and guidance on this is the Fool card with the star, the Seven of Wands, King of Wands and the Nine of Swords. There's a situation, a relationship, a person that there is a new beginning here, but maybe you're not sure if they still want to be with you in the same way or how they feel. I feel like this person thinks a lot about you. Um, and with the star card, this is a wish fulfillment. This is, they're kind of holding the same hope that you are, that you're going to kind of take that leap of faith with them. Um, I feel like you guys are going to be in this energy of healing each other almost. It's like something that's written in the stars for you, but you need to stop being defensive to this and kind of sit back on the king of wands throne um, minus the player ways and know that this is your season, but don't get too cocky because you could end up um, caring too much for you to bear on your own, whether or not you admit it. Someone does balance you out. Someone does want better things for you. And someone just wants you to be open to learning and teaching others how to be more like you. Because I just feel like the King of Wands knows what he wants and he gets it. But at what cost? Because here's a lot of anxiety and sleepless nights and depression and... insight into whatever this person's dealing with or you're dealing with that is kind of affecting the direction that your life is going it's being able to build on something with another person but communicating with them at the same time about how you feel i mean the lovers is a balance of two people together it's not one this is someone you've known a long time. You have a lot of good memories with. This person sees you as someone they want to spend the rest of their life with. This person wants you to wake up and understand that you you make them happy. That they want you to figure it out on your own. Because you are sitting here with all these choices and yet to make a decision. And they want you to go within and think about why you do the things that you do who you're listening to and these toxic behaviors are people that you're around that could be affecting your life and invest in the right things. If no one else but yourself, pay attention to what you're fighting with and who you're fighting for. Um, because everyone in this picture is blindfolded swinging at a hornet's nest. So we can kind of see how that ends, right? Everybody gets stung and there's someone in the background laughing like with, they're not even blindfolded. So it's like, Everyone's fighting over something and this person knows that and it's like they want this fame, they want this glory. Someone is an opportunist that could possibly steal from you and looking towards the future, you need to be a, pay attention to the things and people that need to go and don't miss opportunities waiting for someone who whispers nice things in your ear but isn't working on themselves or the situation and only wants what benefits themselves and is truly an enemy. Some of you guys are in a relationship with one or someone that you're around every day wants what you have and they pretend 
that they have these feelings for you, but they really are only interested in themselves and you need to kind of be aware of things going on behind your back, especially when it has to do with money and finances and what this person truly wants and get out of this energy, regardless of how attractive they are, regardless of what loss you're going to take, because the reason that you're so mentally conflicted and feeling alone is that you're trying to control or someone's trying to control you and how you think and what you do with your money and it's time to move away from people that want a handout or some sex but really just want the attention that you're getting and are kind of bringing in some negative shit into your life with the illusion that they want to be with you or that you're always going to do the right thing but it's kind of fucking with your emotions and it's not really you're not seeing the wolves that are surrounding you because no one's really telling the truth if happiness lies within money and love, then it's time to say that and stop holding on to people that you assume care about you. But if you look at this picture, this queen has her hand over the cup. She's not interested in love. She's interested in your power and your money and the mental conflict she brings to your life or this person. Because they don't wish you well. They don't. They want to see you get caught up in the bullshit and not make the right decision so that you have to walk away from the ones that are meant for you. And that's really fucked up. But it has something to do with a relationship or a partnership that you are surrounded in. But if, think about what they're truly doing for you. Someone has children. Someone might be trying to have children with you because they, you need to pay attention, Aries. Somebody wants to get pregnant by you for money. They don't love you and you need to call in the right soulmates. Um, keep an open mind about people because it's not going to be the one that you're really attracted to that's trying to control what you're doing because it's like they're really fucking with you and you deserve the, the real love. You deserve friends that want to help you. You need to have a conversation with someone from your past and there's chemistry, but the universe wants you to decide what you want with these people. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now because you're separated from someone who sees a life with you, but you're so afraid to love. I feel like you're taking whatever is available and it has a lot to do with how you're brought up and what path you're on, but you need to free yourself from something that you're involved in, especially when it has to do with finances. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. You could be living a karmic um, cycle that has to do with people you brought into your life that need to be healed. It's time to stay optimistic and realize you have someone um, that you walked away from that wants you to still make the effort with them. And that's all I have. Good night.